This is my tabbouleh presentation. So, some history and culture of tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is a salad from the Middle East that originated in Lebanon. It is made of bulgur wheat, finely chopped herbs and spices, including parsley, tomato, onion, mint, and it is seasoned with a lemon-olive oil mix. In today's world, tabbouleh is part of the Lebanese identity. It is in every household and on every table at every meal. It is so popular to the, st the extent that there is a national tabbouleh day. Now, to focus on one of the central ingredients of tabbouleh, I'm going to be talking about parsley. So some history and culture of parsley is that parsley is a plant that is native to the Mediterranean region of Southern Europe and Western Asia. There is so much unique history that goes along with it as well. For example, in Greek legends, parsley is believed to have sprang from the bloodshed by a fallen hero when he was eaten by serpents. The Greeks had many different uses for parsley, including decorating tombs and making parsley wreaths to bestow on winners at their games. Parsley was also used in Hebrew celebration of Passover. Nutrient Composition of Parsley so, as you can see here, just a half a cup of parsley has a ton of different vitamins and minerals and nutrients that help you and your health. It has only 11 calories, so it's low in calories, and it has a ton of sources of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, and potassium. Relationship to disease so like we saw in the last slide, parsley has a ton of different health benefits due to all of the different vitamins and minerals that are in it. Parsley is especially high and has a great source of vitamin K, vitamin A, and vitamin C. Some specific health benefits of parsley is that it can improve bone health, protect against chronic diseases, promote eye health, protect your heart, and it has antioxidant benefits. I thought it was extremely interesting that parsley has been specifically proven and shown to help eye health and promote eye health, and it can help eye-related conditions like AMD, and this is because of a bunch of different plant compounds. So for freshness, facts, and quality about parsley, when you go to buy parsley, you want to make sure that, that the leaves are not wilted and that they do not have any yellow or brown colors to it. The smell will also not be as fresh and pleasant as it normally would be. So some agricultural aspects of parsley. Parsley really likes hot weather, so the best times for it to grow are from mid to late summer, so this will be from March, April, May, or June. It is available year-round and extremely sustainable. Preparation and recipe. This is one of the couple different ways that you can make tabbouleh, and there are substitutes for certain ingredients if you do not have a specific kind. As you can see here, there are two cups of tomatoes, which is extremely prevalent and it gives a very refreshing taste in tabbouleh. Tasting. Like I said in the last slide, the tomatoes are extremely prevalent, which I really enjoyed in the dish. It gave it the feeling that it was light and summery and refreshing. It was extremely easy to make and from my research I did not see any cultural ways that people eat the food. So to compare, I never would have guessed that this dish was so popular. There's even a designated national day for it to celebrate tabbouleh. From my own perspective, I just saw this salad as a food, but in other cultures it is a lot more than that. This is because this is something that they can share with their family and friends while preserving and embracing their own culture. 
These are my references I use for this PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching.